Hey guys, Super Games for Ways here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I would like to show you guys on how to install XCI NSE on NSP file onto your Nintendo Switch, which is running 12.1.0 with a custom firmware. Alright, so uh, before we get started, make sure you guys have custom firmware installed on your Nintendo Switch. So I'm going to show you guys my firmware first before we get started to jump into where we install the, the backup cams on our Nintendo Switch. So you guys can see I'm currently running 12.1.0 with the Atmosphere's custom firmware. And also you guys will need uh, side patches updated onto your Nintendo Switch. So without the side patches you guys will get some error where you guys trying to launch the games after you guys have installed it using the Arwin installer. Now let's go ahead and start this tutorial. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to download the ZDK here, which is a driver to your PC. So this will fix the issues uh, where you guys trying to connect your switch uh, to your PC. So to download the ZDK here, you guys need to click onto the ZDK 2.5 and it will start to download to your PC. Then the, the second things that you need to download is the Arwin installer. So this is the homebrew for our Nintendo Switch. Just go ahead and click to the Arwin installer.zip and it will start to download to your PC. Now the third file that we guys need to download is the NSUSB loader. So this is the remote uh, where we're going to send the backups from our PC and then uh, we will receive it by using our installer on our Nintendo Switch. Now download the NSUSB loader as what we click for the uh, our installer just now. Go ahead and click to NSUSB loader 5.0.jr at the end here it show you guys JR so which means you guys need to install a Java for your PC uh, to launch this NSUSB loader so you guys can also use a common prompt which I already have forgot what the common you guys need to type in for the common prompt itself but I highly recommend you guys to get the Java so it will make you guys easier to launch the NSUSB loader later on so now to download the Java just go ahead and click to agree and start free download and then you guys need to proceed on installing the java onto your pc all right so before i forget make sure you guys have uh, follow me on odyssey as well on how to install the custom firmware on your nintendo switch so right here i'll show you guys uh, at my odyssey channel here i'll do the uh, custom firmware videos so make sure you guys don't miss my uh, odyssey channel right here okay so now once we have downloaded all the stuff needed the first one we need to execute is the zedic 2.5 okay so uh this is only uh, for those of you guys want to uh, transfer the backups by using the USB cable so this might require the USB cable in order to install the backup cams to your switch and you also can use the Wi-Fi uh, if you guys have set up the, the 90 DNS and the iconic DOM mode so you guys can use the Wi-Fi as well okay so now once we have executed the Zedic now go ahead and connect our USB type C from our PC to our Nintendo switch so now uh, what we need to do here, we need to click op options after you guys have connect your USB type C to your switch. Now click to list all devices. And now we will expand all the device that have connected to your PC. Now go ahead and select the uh, device here. Now look for Nintendo switch. So after you guys find the, uh, found the Nintendo switch, now for the driver here you guys need to change it as the lib usb k so this will allow you guys to detect your switch as a driver onto your pc now what we need to do is you need to uh, select and change the win usb here now uh, look up for the lib usb k version 3.0.7.0 and then click install driver so that will install your switch driver and that will also will fix uh, issues where you guys cannot connect your switch uh, with using the USB cable. Okay, so now we may delete the ZX since we already have installed our switch driver to our PC. And now, um, after you guys have uh, installed the driver, you guys can disconnect your USB. And then I highly recommend you guys to reboot your switch first. Alright, so now once you guys have uh, shut down your Nintendo switch, you need to remove your SD card from your Nintendo switch and then connect it to your PC. Right, once you guys have connected your switch SD card to a PC, open up the uh, our installer.zip and then you guys can see there's a switch folder. Now you guys can grab the switch folder and then drag and drop it to the root of your SD card or you guys can also 
uh, open up the switch folder on your uh, SD card now grab the our installer and then pass it into the switch folders on your SD card so there's are two things that you guys can do okay so now once we have copied the our installer we may disconnect our SD card from our PC and now what we need to do here we need to uh, boot our switch into a custom firmware pack now uh, insert our SD card back to our switch and then boot our switch into custom firmware so I'm currently booting my switch into the atmosphere's custom firmware so, uh, if you guys are interested to see the custom firmware video just go ahead and click on the link in the description box on how to install a custom firmware for Nintendo Switch uh, which is running 2.1.0 firmware so now once you guys have boot your switch into a custom firmware so now what I want to do here you guys need to launch the Owl installer now to launch the Owl installer you guys cannot use the homebrew menu normally here are the difference between if you guys launch the Owl installer uh, normally compare with the full memory RAM uh, homebrew menu so you guys can see there's a plot mod on uh, at the top panel here now to launch your homebrew menu into a full speed mod or you guys can call it as the full memory mod you guys need to hold down the right trigger button and then select any uh, cams that you guys install on your home screen now select it while hold still holding the right trigger button and then uh, launch the cams so uh, I'm still pressing the uh, holding the right trigger button here so until you guys see the homebrew menu so this is how you guys launch your uh, homebrew menu into a full speed mode so as you can see now the applet mode uh, text icon there is now disappeared so this means you guys put into a full memory mode for the homebrew menu itself okay so now go ahead and launch the our installer so if you guys don't launch your homebrew menu into a full speed mode you guys will end up uh, error uh, and it will also disconnect um, suddenly after you guys install the backup cams to your switch alright now uh, what you guys need to do here you need to connect your USB type C again from your PC to your Nintendo switch now uh, select install over USB okay so now I tell you guys a warning just go ahead and ignore it by pressing A button and select OK alright so this uh, if you guys see USB connection successfully so this is uh, how you guys install the uh, driver and the other stuff correctly so if you guys uh, see there's no USB connections so that's probably you guys missing the USB driver so now let's go back to our PC and then execute an SUSB loader so make sure you guys have installed the Java just like what I did told you guys earlier of the video otherwise you guys cannot launch the uh, NSUSB loader here okay so now uh, at the NSUSB loader here what you guys need to do is you need to select file and now it will expand select file so now you guys need to look for your XCI uh, your backup files so right here I have the uh, legit copy of the live stream escape from Hotel Izanami now go ahead and select your backups so as you guys can see my type here uh, the game type here is XCI file and you guys also can use it for NSP or NSZ file as well now go ahead and click open or double click to the backup files okay now go ahead and click upload to NS now on your switch it will receive the backups uh, files as you guys can see here now go ahead and select the uh, A button now we will tell you guys where should your backups install to just go ahead and select SD card so make sure you guys have enough space in order to install the games itself otherwise you guys will get error so now it's tell you guys invalid NCI signature detect just go ahead and select yes I understand the risk and now we start to install the backups onto your Nintendo switch so you guys uh, do not close the NS USB loader on your PC as well otherwise you guys will end up getting failed uh, if you guys close the NS USB loader so for me if you guys want to ask uh, whether this one is a good option uh, compared with the tinfoil or the godleaf I uh, in my opinion uh, using the Win Solo is really easy if you guys compared with the godleaf Tin foil as well. So uh, the Owl installer here, I the one thing that I like is 
uh, whenever I try to install the backups, I didn't get any issues whenever I try to install the backups. So as you can see, when you guys try to go to the home screen, now your backups will appear on your home screen. So now you guys can launch the backups onto your Nintendo Switch. Alright, so that's all for this video. And if you guys have any further questions, just leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Switch thrill as well. So this is how you guys install XCI NSC or NSP file onto your Nintendo Switch, which is running 12.1.0 firmware. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next upcoming videos. So I'll see you guys soon. Thank you very much for watching this video.